Four finalists vying for the annual Women's Fund of South Central Kentucky Impact Grant gathered last night to find out who would be the recipient of the largest combined grant award in Warren County. WBK reporter Derek Parham was there to hear the nonprofit's proposals and to find out who walked away with the $100,000 grand prize. Across Warren County, nonprofits have spent months preparing presentations for the $100,000 grant awarded by the Women's Fund each year. Those nonprofits were narrowed to the final 18, then to the final eight, and finally to the top four. Hotel Inc., House on the Hill, Kids on the Block, and The Hive. The Women's Fund is a um, collective giving circle, and so basically women come together and they pool their resources or their membership, and we give out one large impact grant. And then tonight, they get to vote. So that is the part that they receive. They get a voice in helping meet the needs in our community. At last night's ceremony, all four finalists gave presentations on what programs the grant would fund. And at the end, House on the Hill came out on top, collecting the funds they'll need to expand on the guest house program that they introduced last year. The guest house program will house close to 1,100 people. That's 135 families that won't have to sleep in a tent, that won't have to sleep in their car, bouncing from parking lot to parking lot. Because you know in Kentucky there's a new law that you can't camp where you're not supposed to camp. And they can be arrested. But there's families in our community sleeping in cars. In second place, collecting $51,000 was the Hive, bringing in the funding needed to create long-lasting essential programs for those with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We have a growing need with over 31,000 who are going to need our services in the coming decade. And we have a plan to develop programs and structure now. What we need, we need you. A collective group of women dedicated to supporting women and children to help our dreams come true. Kids on the Block and Hotel Inc. each brought home $10,000 grants to further their own missions. In Bowling Green, Derek Parham, WBKO News.